In the Department of Radiation Oncology, we're focused on providing the most technologically advanced cancer care for our patients. We do a wide assortment of treatments that are available at academic centers. And so really we don't want patients to feel they need to go anywhere else but here in Carrollton. The reality is what we do inside the building doesn't match what the building actually looks like outside. Um, our building was originally built in 1988 and has gone through a series of two major additions. And anytime you add on to a building, it's not nearly as uh, convenient and flowing as building something from the ground up. And so we are committed to building a new cancer center around our linear accelerators. And with this new building, we will have more exam rooms, a bigger welcoming space for patients and their families as they go through this cancer treatment. Um, everything about the flow of the building has been designed with the patient in mind. Uh, we want their experience to be a comfortable one. We don't want it to feel intrusive or disorganized. And so our new building provides all of that. By doing the renovation process around where the machines are currently located, it allows us to have a seamless approach to patient care. There's no delays in treatment or inability to treat patients while machines are shut down or moved. During the construction phase of the project, we will offer complimentary valet services to all of our patients. Patients will valet their cars, come in to the infusion center located on the first floor of the specialty building. They'll check in and have a small area for waiting dedicated to the radiation oncology patients. To make things even more convenient, we're gonna have staff members escort the patient to their treatment, let them receive their treatment, and then be escorted back to the waiting room where simply the valet will get their car and they can go about their daily lives. As one of the last parts of our renovation process, we're gonna be installing a second true beam linear accelerator. What this is gonna allow us to do is have the exact same treatment machines with the same software, the same technology, and the same beam energies. This is gonna allow us to have more versatility in patient care because we'll be able to have identical treatment plans regardless of which machine the patient is planned on. So what that means is it's gonna be more convenient for patients, less wait time, and more ease of access. Our new building will have a lot of ancillary services available for the patients, just like we have always offered our patients. We'll have registered dietitian on site, We'll have our patient navigators on site. We'll continue to offer tumor boards on site. Everything we need to run a cancer program will have a new home in the new building. One of these software updates that's coming with the machine upgrade is HyperArc, which is a software planning and treatment technique that will allow us to treat multiple brain metastases with high doses of radiation and a single fraction of stereotactic radiosurgery. What HyperArc does is it allows us to plan treatment for all of these brain metastases at the same time and helps to streamline the delivery so that it can all be done in the same treatment rather than staggering the treatment over several days. For the better part of the last year, Tanner administration and the construction companies have worked very closely with the clinical team at the Cancer Center to come up with a plan so that we have as little impact on the patient care as possible. If everything goes according to plan, which we have every reason to expect that it will, we will be open in our new center in 2024.